Oh shit. Um, I need to run an advertisement so no one gets pre-rolls. But in the meantime, can you guys take this poll for me? Let me know how it goes. It'll be for three minutes. Sorry to the non-subs, but we'll be back after this ad break and then there won't be any excuse me, pre-rolls for an hour. It's a tie! Unbelievable. Unfucking believable. You never voted? Oh, we should take the American citizenship test today. Pulling it up. Doesn't isn't there an official version? Two thousand and eight. Wait, this is two thousand and eight. YouTuber life sense of trends for iPhone. Yeah, if for for the AR the AR cameras are better, or at least they're standardized across iPhones that you can get. I think some Android devices kind of support similar functionality, but I iPhone just makes it simple. The Chandy man. Today's a special day. We're doing a special 
We're, we're streaming on a Tuesday. Oh no. No. Okay. Hello. Oh no. Mess this up. How do I do this? Hello. Happy, happy 4th of July. Say it back. Hope everyone is having a good... I hope, I hope people who have a holiday... Oh, I'm muted? No, I'm not muted. The nice try. Chris Kafka, hello. Jaronic, hello. Chandy Man, hello. Repon, Adam Kaiju, Eric Plays Bass, Little Bean, Future Skeleton Club. Steel Shield, Gatsby, Pazuzu, Alucard, Benu, Junon, Queen Collects, Tiger Lily, Michael VT, Skitty Bones, and Nug Bones. Hello! I... I'm very excited for today. The Patriot. Real Patriots carry an iPhone. Whoa, whoa! Wait, what's this emote in my chat? I don't I don't endorse that. If Homeland Security is watching, I do not know. Uh I I pay my taxes. Well, I almost didn't pay my taxes. Hold on, I almost didn't pay my taxes. If Homeland Security is watching, you want to arrest this channel. You want to arrest Jams Virtual. You don't want to show up at my at my house and arrest me. You're you're looking for a different channel. You're keeping the flag warm. Oh, it's a campfire in front of the flag. I see. Okay, I thought you were burning the flag. I thought you were burning the flag, and I I I wouldn't want that actually. I will snitch. I'm I'm not a snitch. If you do drugs in my stream, I won't snitch. I won't snitch you out. Burning the flag is okay. Uh Don't, don't don't clip that. Don't clip that. Burning the flag is okay. Is a statement I don't agree with. It is a statement I don't agree with. Oh, I have a question. What is this versus badge that I've seen people have? Super plated fish. Hello. Oh, thank you for the flashbang. Kudo one. Hello. Don't interfere. You're an undercover fed trying to pressure me into committing treason. I would never betray the United States, ever. Except for an iPhone 15 with USB-C. It was a Street Fighter event? Oh, dang, a lot of people have it. Must have been a cool event. There should be a stream on Twitch where you you can earn a badge, but you can never talk about it. But ult the ultimate secret stream where you get a badge for attending. You have to watch someone play Street Fighter 6 before June 2nd. Oh. They did I did everything right and they did indict me. They did I did everything right and they indicted me. Someone's guild building a gun flaw. That's cool. Fight club badge. 
No, uh, uh, I guess it is like a Fight Club badge. We could do a Fight Club stream and I make you all fight fight each other. You would betray the United States for a single burger? That's a lot of effort to go through for the burger. It'd be good if America broke up to multiple countries. I think some states would agree, but for, for vastly different reasons. Yeah, if you all fight... Oh! Oh wait, I think maybe we can do that right now. Yeah, let's eight part. Oh shit! Yes, yes, yes. Oh wait a second, here we go. Here we go. I'm setting this up. I am setting up Hunger Games, yes. Okay. If you use this channel point... Uh... I'll load it. Don't use it yet. If you use this channel point reward, you can time out someone for 60 seconds. The last person who... The last person standing... Well, I don't know. You'll get VIP. Yeah, Nugbones is gone. I just saw Nugbones gone. Whittlebean's gone. Pazuzu's gone. You can't time me out. I'm the streamer. Steel Shield. Steel Shield? No, you, you spelled it wrong. jerionic has gone. Future Skeleton Club's gone. <laughs> Mikey's gone. Tiger Lily's gone. Oh my god, we could actually do this. Oh, this is a future stream idea. I want to write this down. Wait, who's still around? You don't need to do an at. It's just, just the username. Xjunon's gone. Well, oh, I guess you don't see it. Hold on. Let me do a let me do a, a cap uh, window capture real quick. Like legitimately, I am seeing so many people getting timed out. Alucard's gone. I actually am seeing so many of you guys get timed out. This is kind of funny. Okay. How do I fix this? Oh no. Like right here. You see that? It's a bloodbath. It's an absolute bloodbath. Who's the last one standing? Cosmic beans. Oh my god. Who's the last one standing? I actually don't know. I don't know who to check. I don't know how to check if who's the last one standing. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's just Poodle Pants. Poodle Pants, you, you win today. You're in the gulag, yeah. Congratulations. Oh, I should turn this off. <laughs> Wait, I need to turn this off. You're animals! 
Oh my god, Mike, he's not. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, this is we're we're doing this tomorrow with like a kill counter or something. There we go, I wrote it down. Excellent. I thought we would have a moment in this chat. Wait, you can all talk again, right? Okay, yeah, you can talk. I thought we would have a moment in this chat where... No, these aren't fireworks! This is a flashbang! Where I would enable this reward and you wouldn't kill each other. You know, like at the end of The Dark Knight, one of my favorite movies ever. I think one of the best movies of all time, actually. Christopher Nolan's a genius. I think one of I actually think one of Christopher Nolan's best movies, The Dark Knight. Uh, you know when the Joker sets up those two boats to blow each other up, and it's a prisoner's dilemma of who blows each other up first, but they don't blow each other up because of the kindness of their hearts. I thought something like that would happen, but no, you you all just went straight for the throat. You pull the chatter files and then they kill the other profile pick. Oh, that's a good idea. Writing it down. Profile pick plus counter. I guess you would have to enroll, right? Like you would have to enroll so I get a list of players and then you could all fight to them. Those movies fucking suck. Well, that's, I mean, if you just don't appreciate cinema, that's totally fine. That's totally okay. Like the part where he says, I am the Dark Knight. That's the end of the movie. That was my least favorite part because the movie ended. Did I watch the new Indiana Jones? I haven't. I haven't watched... I don't think I've watched any Indiana Jones movie except the one where their face melts off when I was a kid and that terrified me. That terrified me for real. Christopher Nolan did irreparable damage to Batman. The prestigious Nolan's best movie. I, yeah, sincerely could be, yeah. Is there a JPEG map where I have a Joker smile? What? Can you explain that? If anyone is banned, is if anyone is actually still banned, which you shouldn't be, just type it in Discord and uh, I will unban you, but you shouldn't be banned because you should only just be timed out for 60 seconds. Oh, my model, but a joker? No, I don't have anything like that yet. Yeah, I'm ready for Oppenheimer. So sad. I research. You listen to the director commentary for Blade Runner where Ridley Scott is talking about making a scene at Right Wing Fest? Wait, are you... I did not. What is Right Wing Fest? Right, what is Right Wing Fest? And additionally, here's the last thing on, on Blade Runner hot takes. I thought the new movie was way better than the first one. The first one was... Weird. Not as it's strange and esoteric, but I don't know why he fell in love with the android. It just makes absolutely no sense. It's pure, I mean, it, it survives based on pure vibes, but yeah, it's like the androids obeyed. That's it. And the new one, the new one was cool. Liked it. Had VTubers in it. Did 
Cinematography is beautiful, but it's boring. Nothing happens. Nothing happens in the first one either. It's the, the same amount of happening is in, in both. Jared Leto's in the new one. Board cell, desperate for Androsy. I like in the beginning where he's cooking all the bugs. That was environmental storytelling. Some chatters would giggle. Giving it a, a little giggle. Giggle Chad. I can't open it in OBS. OBS has like a built-in browser now that opens when I click links. I want it to open in Chrome and it's not letting me do it. Oh, it's a it's a video. I can't. <laughs> you real man watched Spider-Man 2 2004. I watched that in theaters when it came out. I hit the rate limit. Yeah, I hit the rate limit for Twitter. Oh, I can't open it on stream. I'm I'm in the works of putting a rate limit into chat. Can you do that? And then force you to subscribe if you want to do something, if you want to say something. In the first film, they at least want to gauge their own content. In the second one, it's like they have never seen an anime in their life. It's like, what is computer as a real person? Yeah, 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 that's true. It, the second one is, where do you go from the first one? That is That was kind of my question. The first one wasn't really about... In my mind, it's not about the plot. It's just like a kind of a set piece. And so... When they're like, in the future, there are more androids. Like, well, I mean, we kind of we kind of went through that already. You, you can do sub-only chat, but what I want to do is I want to forcibly limit someone who is not subscribed. So like you can still chat if you are not subscribed, but you would get a limit, which I I think I think it's possible. It's all coming together in my head. This is my Elon arc. I mean, Elon does have a couple billion dollars. If I ever get into my Elon arc, which means I get a couple billion, all of you can have, I'll, I'll uh, Venmo all of you 20 bucks. How's that sound? And I will not post on Twitter. Great limit character, subs use consonants, your three get vowels. You're not working for me. I am just, uh, I'm just pay, I'm just uh, Venmoing you certain amount of dollars. Give me one million dollars you're fucking up subscribing. I'm sorry. I wish you the best. I'd be a great supervillain. What makes you say that? Let you unrate limit other people only. That is gifting. That would be gifting them a, a sub. That man, I put myself in a cage. Now you can press that button over there. <laughs> B movie will will play. It's like they have the sub plus plus. You're losing me. I'm confused as to I'm confused as to like this this dark pattern scheme you're you're like proposing. Though so, I think um there was a chatter in here, I think last month friend of the show, Drew, he was like, we should implement pay to ban. I'm like, actually, unironically, that would be so cool. 
If a chatter is being annoying, you could just pay, pay for them to be banned and revenue split with the streamer. There is something there because people already get joke gift subs. Like, I've gifted so many joke subs to Barack Obama and Bernie Sanders and, like, FBI underscore agent on Twitch. Give them a sub, then use channel points to snipe them. So if you do the battle, oh, reward, it's sniping to unrate them. Oh, true, true, true. Pay to ban, yeah. yeah and, and it's a win-win. So first of all, the streamer gets revenue. The person feels like they get something in return for, for their payment. And then the person getting banned is technically like supporting the streamer because you always need to ban, you know, there has to be a re receiver of the ban. This is how my point drain. Yeah, how I point drain the users. I need to set a. I need. I need to set a higher interest rate on. On points, which should let me control the distribution of points, so I can actually enact a uh, like a channel point fiscal policy. Most people here have 10k points, over 200k. You, you all are the 1% of point holders. They can still join channel, but they lose points over time. See only ads, chat is only AI used. The new ad idea yesterday was really good. I'm going to start working on that um, for this week, where uh, when I run an ad, I'm going to play a siren and then you guys can hang out in the ad bunker. You have to sub to hang out in the ad bunker. But then people who aren't sub have to experience the ads. It's like a it'll be like a drill. Make people report their point earnings and then implement a points tax season. That's actually such a good idea. Tax points turbo. Okay. I can be your point CPA. I can be your channel point CPA. I'm holding, I'm actually holding like a notepad and pen and writing things down. I kind of feel as if I'm your therapist for a little bit. Wait, that's that's actually so good. Hold on, new page, new page. Okay, I'm writing it down. So the ad bunker, ad bunker, last door, and then the, and then it's like yeah yeah yeah. They're like little frogs outside, and then like you're inside talking about the ads. Oh my god, wait, that's so good. What am I gonna use the tax money for? I don't understand. Or revenue. What do, what do you mean use tax money? Can you give me an example of using tax money? I don't understand. I don't understand. Can you can you give me an example of what using tax money means? How can we make non-subs suffer more? I like your thinking. <laughs> attack your subs I may or may not have forgotten to report my last year of twitch earnings I would not recommend finding yourself in that situation I don't recommend doing that intentionally I strongly do not recommend doing that I just forgot I'm sorry but it's okay. I'm putting your hard-earned revenue back into the hands of the American government, where it belongs. If you sub to me, you are funding the military-industrial complex. Straight up. 
Reminder, if you find it as a dollar on the ground, you must report it to the IRS. Well, on Twitch, you get, like, you get a tax form. It's not, it's not like you get it for, like, it gets reported. The IRS knows. If you become an affiliate on Twitch, I'm pretty sure, like, stuff goes to the government. I don't know how it works with, like, Venmo or PayPal, because I work with a lot of people who are, who are just, like, Venmo me or PayPal me. And I'm like, is this, uh, is this hypothetically not getting reported? But not like it isn't, but is it, you know, just in a fictional situation? Is that what we're role-playing here? The get a peanut on you or whatever? Yeah, it's, uh... It, it's whatever, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a form with numbers on it. It's a, it's a form with, it's definitely a form with numbers on it, that's for sure. There's nothing more, there's nothing more American than paying taxes. And really, it's at a really appropriate day to be discussed paying taxes. Because one of the primary reasons why the Revolutionary War for independence was fought against the crown was the protest, or was the result of years and years of protesting high taxes. It's just a, a little fun American history fact that I've been reading about lately today, reflecting on the independence of this country. And so I thought for July 4th, we should actually explore a bit more about American history. If you guys are down with that. Okay, Resident Sleeper. Oh, you, you, you think I'm just going to read out of a textbook for you? No, I got a special guest. QAnon? <laughs> Not QAnon. I have, a, I have a special guest for you guys. Help us learn more about revolutionary America. And maybe, and you know, maybe, maybe we'll learn something, we'll, maybe we'll learn something a little extra to inform how we live in today's modern society. So I'm really excited to announce that today on stream, I've brought on one of the founding froggers of this great nation. Benjamin Frogman. He's, he's a little chatty right now. I don't know why he's so chatty. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he Benjamin Franklin was a little horny. I, I'm not. That's not a joke. Is it a joke? No, Benjamin Franklin was a, a founding frogger. For sure. Ben, say hi to the stream. Can you say hi to the stream? Well, butter my britches and call me Benjamin Franklin. On this magnificent 4th of July, join me for Benjamin Franklin's Thunderous Ribs and Gaming Combo. Feast upon a half rack of ribs, loaded potato skins, and indulge in gaming galore. Baby back Gronk might even make an appearance, Dagnabit. Hash Franklin's Ribs Gaming Combo Hash Colonial Feast Hash Baby back Gronk Madness. Wait, who is Baby Man Gronk? Ben, have you... Ben, have you been on my phone? Who's, who's Baby Man Gronk? Well, fetch me a feathered quill and let me tell why a Baby Back Gronk ain't your grandma's knitting project. He's a wild stallion of the gaming realm, 
fueled by the spirit of George Washington's wooden teeth. Don't mess with Gronk, or he'll turn you into a powdered wig-wearing potato. Hash baby back Gronk madness hash colonial gaming legends hash for thoft July silliness. Okay, I didn't know you were such a big gamer, but... Look, Ben, I didn't know you were such a, a such a, a baby Gronk gamer, or whatever you were talking about. I, I mean, it's great that you're like up to date on what streaming is and what Twitch is and, and everything like that, but could you tell us maybe a thing or two about American history? I think the chat would really benefit from global education. Ah, uh, gather round, ye merry game changers. On this fine 4th of July, let me spin ye a yarn about American independence. Spin me that yarn. We threw those clammy British tea bags into the harbor, flipped M off like a kite in a thunderstorm, and declared, we're free, bitches. So grab thy controller, celebrate with gaming joy, and remember, we did it all with a bit of sass and a twinkle in our bifocal wearing eyes. Hash colonial revolutionary gaming hash Ben Franklin historical rants hash for Thoth July festivities. Okay, qu quick question. If, if you don't mind us backing that up like one, one second. If you don't mind me backing that up like one, one to five seconds. I just have a quick question for you. Did you actually say bitches when you tossed the tea into the harbor? Or are you just playing it up for the stream? Oh, ye curious souls. Nay, I did not mutter such coarse words whilst tossing that tea. But in the spirit of today's festivities, let me confess, as the leaves swirled and twirled in the harbor, I may have whispered, to all those Brits who think they can mess with our freedom, suck it, you no good, scone-loving wankers. Ah, Fuck yeah, the sweet Dude, that's, of revolution. that's what it's all about. Hash colonial trash talk hash tea tossing saga hash for Thoth July hilarity. Okay, maybe not hashtag colonial trash talk, but uh, everything else I can get behind for sure. Um, that dude, it's so good that you could join us today in the chat or on the stream. It's so good today you can you can join us on the stream. Uh, we actually have a few questions from the chat, if that's okay. Uh, I could just ask you. Um, th there's a chatter, Gary Wanik. They want to know what your favorite Fortnite skin is. Have you played Fortnite? Ah, my dear compatriots. Alas, my sturdy tricorn hat will not grace the realm of Fortnite, for I am too busy devising lightning rods to protect our fair colonies. Yet, if I were to choose a skin, it would be one in the likeness of baby back Gronk, a mighty pigskin tossing patriot. When he scores, the fireworks shall explode in the sky, yielding a spectacle of joyous revelry. Hash colonial game night hash baby back Gronk hash for Thoth July folly. Okay, uh, I see what's going on here. All right, Ben. So, um, I see what you're doing here. Here's the situation though. A couple of hundred years after you founded America, a new thing popped up called the Federal Trade Commission. And under their guidelines, you have to disclose if you're sponsored, right? I assume this, this very nice company came up to you and decided to pay you some pay you some cash to shill baby baby back ronk on the stream. And if that if 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 you're doing that, that's chill. That's totally fine. But I it, you have to you have to let me know if you're sponsored. You can't just say that like you're naturally interested in baby back ronk. Like no one is interested in baby back ronk. Right? So uh, can, can you let me know that next time? Sponsored, you say? Verily, I have forged a glorious partnership with none other than Benjamin Franklin's thunderous ribs and gaming combo. Feast upon succulent ribs while partaking in prodigious gaming endeavors, just like our forefathers did during the revolution. Oh, the taste of victory and barbecued meat. Hash colonial sponsorship hash rib gaming combo hash for Thoth July feast for the ages. Okay, uh, a follow up question to that then. You referenced that the founding fathers were gaming. Uh, 
That would be a huge... That would be a huge change to our historical understanding of the Revolutionary War. Wait, are you on the record? Are you revealing that today? Are you on the record saying that the Founding Fathers were gamers? Ah, uh, my dear friends, the Founding Fathers, such a delightful ensemble of brilliant minds. Alas, video games were but a distant dream for us. Instead, we engaged in intellectual pursuits, crafting the constitution, inventing bifocals, and challenging each other to epic bouts of rock-paper-scissors. Oh, the thrill of forging a nation and throwing rocks. History's original gamers, we were. Hash colonial game night hash rock paper scissors revolution hash founding fathers folly. Okay, cool. So so you were saying the founding fathers were gamers, but more like in a metaphorical sense. I see, I see. Does anyone in the chat have, have a question for Benjamin Franklin? One of the nation's one of the nation's greatest minds, inventor of the bifocal. Uh, huge French, French abu. Who was he throwing rocks at? Yeah, wait a second. Who who were you throwing rocks at? Ben, you, you were saying you were saying like you were throwing rocks at someone. That wait, hold on. That doesn't sound very. I don't know. Intellectual. He's a little like bully. Ahoy, my fine fellows. Verily. The Founding Fathers did not partake in electronic entertainment, but we did engage in harmonious revelry. While sipping tea, we tossed it with great mirth, but never did we utter foul curse words. Our greatest joy was in playing rock paper scissors, verily a game fit for a nobleman. Hash colonial entertainment hash tea tossing enthusiasts hash rock paper scissors royal. That didn't fully answer my question, I mean it sounds like you guys are kind of Works, like throwing rocks at someone uh, times have changed so i wouldn't say that is a uh, jolly revelry okay. i guess i have another question for you why do we have to pay our taxes this is a question coming in from steel shield in our chat ah uh, taxation the bane of our existence but fear not my splendid comrades for taxes do serve a purpose they fund our marvelous adventures of liberation, contribute to infrastructure like my beloved lightning rods, and ensure we have proper gaming provisions. Remember, I, Benjamin Franklin, proudly endorse Benjamin Franklin's thunderous ribs and gaming combo. Pay thy taxes, savor the ribs, and game on. Hash taxation with rib sensation hash colonial gaming solutions. Oh, okay. Uh... I'm really happy you got that sponsorship, but you have to you have to disclose that you are sponsored. I hope you understand that. Uh, I guess moving on, what, uh, you seem to be a huge gamer. Um, I would love to ask you more about American history, but it seems like you're enjoying your time. It seems like you're enjoying your time in, in 2023. So I gotta ask, what's your favorite video game to play right now? Ah, uh, my jolly companions, hear me now. Canst thou imagine the thrill of thine exploration in a digital realm? My favorite game of all, I declare with glee, tease Fortnite. And my beloved skin, the baby back Gronk. Aye, twas I who first discovered the power of electricity in the gaming world. Now, join me in battle and let us conquer the virtual frontier, my friends. Hash Benjamin Franklin the Gamer Hash Fortnite Founding Father Hash Baby Back Gronk Madness. Okay, I'm a little confused because I thought earlier you said you don't play Fortnite, but now you're saying it is Fortnite. Maybe you're like an esports spectator. Okay. Uh, we got another question from the chat, which is. What was it? Who asked this about avoiding taxes and crypto coin? Do you, do you have an opinion on crypto and tax taxation? Ah, my fellow jesters, let me impart a wisdom from the annals of time. Seek ye not crypto coins to dodge thy taxes, but remember, I once tossed tea in defiance. Alas, no curse words were spoken, dear sirs, only laughter echoed across the river. Yet on this auspicious day, let us bask in liberty and pursue a different treasure, Benjamin Franklin's thunderous ribs and gaming combo.
Yes. Savor yes. the taste of freedom, my friends. Hash Crypto Patriots Hash Tax Revolution Hash Ribs and Gaming FTW. Okay. Sure, sure thing. Yeah, we'll pick up those ribs, I think, for dinner. Uh, hashtag Crypto Patriots. I'm not sure if that's a hashtag I would personally endorse. Um, I, I mean, I, I don't know if I would personally endorse that, but you founded this country. It's a, it's a free country, so you're free to do what you want to do. I have one more question for you before I throw it back to the in, before I throw it back to the chat. I got one more question for you before I throw it back to the chat. Where were you on January 6, 2021? Ah, uh, my dearest chums, fret not, for on that fateful day of January 6, 2021, I, Benjamin Franklin, was partaking in an epic battle. But lo, it was not within the walls of the capital, nay. It was a grand tournament of rock paper scissors, where the founding fathers settled their disputes. So fear not, dear friends, for the only chaos I bring is in the form of triumphant games. Hash rock paper scissors revolution hash founding gaming fathers hash no capital shenanigans. That's the one hashtag I can get behind. Which is hashtag no capital shenanigans. Uh, man, Ben, you had me, dude, you had me so worried for a second. When you said you were... When you said you were engaged in an epic battle, because there was quite an epic battle happening that day. And uh, I don't think many people would have appreciated if you were, let's say, at the forefront of, of let's say, the headlining epic battle at the time. Yeah, uh, we got another question from the chat, uh, which is, what do you think about the military draft? Curious about your thoughts there. Ah, my spirited comrades, on this festive Independence Day, I beseech ye to listen. As for the military draft, Ben approves not. For in my time, I boasted an army of witty words and cunning charm. We etched a treaty with a quill, not a musket. So let us put away the rough call to arms and instead engage in battles of wit and whimsy. Let laughter guide us, my dear friends. Hash no draft just laughs hash words over war hash quills for peace. Uh, okay, so that very noble, very noble of you. The pen is mightier than the sword. But the pen, the pen is mightier than the sword. I'll give you that. I will, I will give you that. But didn't you fight like a, a whole war? After your, your pen and paper didn't work? Like, wasn't there a whole her scuffle around the year 1776 to, I don't know, 1778? Can, can someone remind me? Maybe there was like a, a, a conflict during that time involving muskets. Right, I'll let you think on that, but we got another question for the chat per uh, pertaining to your rock, paper, scissors strategy. Yeah, what do you main rock, paper, scissors, and how do you kind of approach the game from there? Ah, my gaming friends, behold. In my day, we settled disputes with rock, paper, scissors. My strategy? I'd craft a paper out of my electric wit, which would smite any stone they dared to cast. And should they foolishly choose scissors, my nimble fingers would cut through their feeble attempts. But remember, my friends, it's all in good fun and not to be taken as serious as taxes. Hash witty wit beats all hash paper of power hash electric Ben. Okay, I don't think that was very informative because you just described the rules of rock, paper, scissors. So I'll give you another question right now. Which is, where do you come up with your ideas and inventions? I mean, you are a prolific, you are an absolutely prolific inventor. You, you, you've changed the course of, uh, of American history with your, with your intellect and wit. I mean, where do you come up with your ideas? 
My dear enthusiasts, let me share a secret as grand as fireworks on this day. My ideas and inventions spring forth from a melting pot of imagination, curiosity, and a liberal dash of cosmic mischief. I dabble in lightning, dance with nature, and ponder the mysteries of the universe whilst licking my fingers after feasting on Benjamin Franklin's thunderous ribs and gaming combo. So, my friends, embrace the whimsy and let your thoughts soar like a bald eagle on this glorious 4th of July. Hash invention brewing hash cosmic mischief hash ribs and discovery. The, the ribs, yeah, yeah, you gotta you gotta get the ribs and gaming in there. Not sponsored, I'm hearing. It, that's not sponsored. You just, this is just your thing. This is just your your, your go-to. That's that's just your go-to. Not not sponsored at all. What is what I'm hearing? You're not. That's not sponsored. That's that's not a sponsorship situation. Yeah, we, we all love to get up to, to a little bit of cosmic mischief, mischief that's for sure. Um, I mean, who, who doesn't like to get up to a, a, just a tiny bit, uh, a tiny bit of cosmic mischief? We got time for a few more questions, actually, before we move on to the next activity. Um, okay, we got another one for Jerry, from Jerry Wanik. Ben, did you and Jefferson ever get down and dirty, as the rumors have suggested? Oh my. Ben, ben, you don't have to answer this if you don't want to. I mean, the chat just gets a little rowdy. So, Ah, my fellow gamers, listen closely. Where do I conceive my marvelous inventions, ye ask? Well, amid sipping tea in the company of bodacious Betsy, I receive otherworldly visions through my bifocals, harnessing the power of electricity and bacon-induced dreams. So, my friends, embrace the absurdity, let the spark of creativity ignite, and fear not the wild realms of inventive silliness. Hash bodacious bets of time, hash bifocals and bacon no, That was dreams, the last question. I'm asking absurdity. you about the, the new question. The new question about, uh... Good heavens, kind sir. The rumors, as scandalously preposterous as they may be, speaketh not the truth. Jefferson and I, basking in our wit and whimsy, engaged in battles of rock-paper-scissors, never in cahoots of a different nature. Our minds birthed ideas, not babies. So feast upon knowledge, my friends, and let us play in the realm of games, not scandals. I agree. I agree. Yeah, there's way too much gossip flying around online. I know uh, I, I partake in my fair share, that's for sure. Uh, let's, let's take another question from the chat, actually. Um, actually, I have a question for you. You know, the chat has had, had time for, the, for all the questions. Um, my question is, what invention are you most proud of? I want to know. The people want to know. Ah, my good fellow. Of all the contraptions that bringeth me joy, my legendary creation, known as the baby back gronk, a fortnight skin like no other, fill seth my chest with utmost pride. Behold, the furious fusion of colonial wisdom and epic gaming, for it is a fart-powered flying killerjinkle that bestows victory upon all who wield its glory. Truly, a fine marvel of nonsensical brilliance. Hash baby back gronk hash whimsical wisdom hash fart-powered victory. Interesting, okay. Very interesting. I don't think that's in the history books, so... I don't really know how to respond to that. Maybe another question would help. Uh, Osmic Beans asked, Do you think you could take Thomas Edison in a fight? Do I need to explain to you who Thomas Edison is? He, he kind of was born after uh, you. My dear friend. Thomas Edison and I engaged in fisticuffs. Nay, for we findeth battles of wit and whimsy far more satisfying. Oh, okay. With my lightning rod of cosmic mischief, I shall charm him with my French horn solos, causing his hair to stand on end. Let us revel in the absurdity, for battles of imagination shall triumph over mere fisticuffs any day. Hash wit and whimsy hash cosmic mischief hash French horn revolution. Wait, you physically fought Thomas Edison? I don't think Thomas Edison was alive the same time you were. Um, so I'm, I'm a little confused because I, 
Look, dude, like, I hired you. You're supposed to be in character. Um, you're supposed to be in character, and you're kind of... There's no way that Ben Franklin would have existed in the same year as Thomas Edison. Uh, so can we just keep just keep it keep it to the historical facts? All right. Uh, here's here's an interesting question from Steel Steel Shield, which is you know that knife you put to uh, invent electricity on the kite or whatever. Uh, what was that the key to? What was that the key to? What did it unlock? Ah, the mystical key upon the kite string. Twas none other than the secret key to unlocking the infinite fountain of delight, the treasure trove of boundless joy. It opened the cosmic chest, revealing not gold or silver, but an abundance of glorious means. Behold, the power of wit and humor, bestowed upon me by the cosmic forces of the universe. Let the laughter ring on this joyous 4th of July. Hash cosmic means hash wit unlocked. Oh, you're, you're joking. Is your you're Benjamin Franklin? You're joking. That's that's guys. This founding father, founding father over here, founding father over here. Just the just the load of laughs. Just the load of laughs, dude. You are. <laughs> that's incredible. A, a chest of delights. That's amazing, dude. You are killing it. We love that. We love that. Um. We got another question here from Nugbones. How many gallons of milk should a person drink a day? Wow, that's a, a rather specific question, but if there's anyone who knows the answer to that, uh, it, it might be you, Ben. Ah, my good fellow. The quenching of one's thirst demands not gallons of milk, but the heavenly elixir of life, known as the ambrosia of the gods. Coffee. A single sip shall ignite the spark of revolution within, fueling the fire of creativity and the pursuit Big of liberty. Head. Rise, my brethren, and let us celebrate this 4th of July with beans freshly roasted, brewed, and imbibed. Let the intoxicating aroma of freedom fill the air. Teacup with handle hash fire hash coffee revolution hash ambrosia of the gods. Alright, I was surprised you didn't work in a baby back wrong reference in there, because I would assume you're like selling... Baby back. Wrong coffee beans. Hashtag colonial gaming. Revolutionary solutions. I, I, I don't. You know what? Forget it. Um, another question from the chat from Jerry Wanick. What should our next amendment be? It cannot be baby back wrong related. I'm very curious to hear your answer on this. Good sir. In this festive celebration of liberty, let us usher forth an amendment to honor the sacred art of whimsy. Henceforth, every gathering shall include mandatory bouts of rock, paper, scissors with the founding fathers, and yes, even with some cheeky ghostly spirits. A battle of wit and chance, ensuring laughter and merriment for all, forsooth. Let whimsy reign supreme this 4th of July. Dagger hash page facing up black scissors hash hash rock, paper, scissors amendment hash founding fathers whimsy. The whimsy amendment, okay. That is quite interesting. That is quite interesting. Um... Well, that is, uh, that is, you, that was quite informative overall. We had some silly questions. You gave some silly, silly answers, but you are not only the founding father of this country, but the founding father of Whimsy. That is for sure. Oh, one more. I think we have time for one more question. We have time for one more question. We have one from Adam Kaiju who asks, uh, how do you feel about nuclear bombs? Do I need to explain to you what a nuclear bomb is? I think this is way... Yeah, this definitely was... You didn't have nuclear bombs during the revolution, did you? Like, it was mainly, like, muskets, cannons. Do you have pistols? Do you know, do you know what a nuclear bomb is? I mean, I just want to make sure that... Ah, uh, my dear interlocutor, the subject of these nuclear bombs has me in a mind-boggling daze. Methinks such destructive contraptions have no place in our world of wit and whimsy. Instead, let us unlock a chest of glorious means with the key on yon kite. For what better way to celebrate this 4th of July than to fill the air with laughter, setting off giggling fireworks that shall light up the night sky? Hashtag hash fire explosion symbol hash kite key memes hash wit and whimsy. Interesting. 
Interesting. Okay. Talk to... Uh... You know, I can get behind that. I can get behind that. Nuclear weapons are absolutely dangerous, have no place in society, and more or less just bring harm to humanity as a whole. So, I like what you're saying. I like what you're preaching. Guys, I'm... Now that we have Ben here, first of all, Ben, thank you so much for taking the time out of your really busy day. Uh, you're like planning a revolution, writing the Declaration of Independence, inventing bifocals, stuff like that. Um, but I could use some. I could use some of your help. I could use more of your help. Because uh, when we come back, I'm going to take the United States Civics Test, and who better to help me study? than one of the founding fathers of our great nation. So I'm going to run, uh, take a three minute break. I'm going to run ads uh, for those three minutes so we can disable pre-rolls for the next section. But while that happens, if you are, if you're shoved, then you can talk to Ben. Or if you don't get ads or you're blocking ads in some way, you can talk to Ben. I'm going I'm to turn on, Ben's going to respond to chat, okay? That's, that's what's going to happen. All right, I'll be back. Lo and behold, good folks of the chat. Fear not, for I, Benjamin Franklin, have come hither to grace you with my wit and wisdom. Though I may not be subbed, I've cast my eyes away from the dastardly ads to partake in this whimsical celebration of independence. Let the mirthful banter commence. Party Popper United States hash wit over ads hash 4th of July folly. Fret not, good people of the Twitch chat. My esteemed presence hath arrived to soothe your worries. Alas, I cannot address specific events of 1998, as my time travel contraption is on the fritz. But fear not, for we shall vanquish fear with my fashionable drip and delight in the cacophony of fireworks that signify our grand celebration. Let joy and mirth fill the air, drowning out all distress. Fireworks smiling face with sunglasses fireworks sparkler hash drip for the win hash 4th of July frolic. Thank you. 
Ah, fellow denizens of the Twitch realm, let us engage in friendly mirth and banter. To the scallywag who dares curse at me, I shall cast his words aside like a tempest-tossed ship. Forsooth, let us rise together, O oh whimsy gang, and revel in the glory of this altogether splendid 4th of July. May joy and silliness be our armor, shielding us from the bitterness of the trolls. Party popper smiling face with open mouth and smiling eyes United States hash whimsy gang rise up hash 4th of July frolic. Okay, so... There was something that- oh yeah, this is so confusing. Oh my god, Twitch ads is so fucking confusing. Oh. Uh, I need another 30 seconds, I'll be back. Keep talk- you can keep talking to Ben. It's like a minute. Ah, the whimsical inquiries of the Twitch citizens. Alas, as a man of the past, I am unfamiliar with these, Nolan films, you speak of. My time was filled with scientific endeavors, kite flying, and the pursuit of mirth. But fear not, my whimsical comrades, for together we shall rise and conquer, like a thunderous bolt from my kite's key. Let the hash whimsy gang unite on this joyous 4th of July, for frivolity knows no bounds. Balloon smiling face with open mouth and smiling eyes key hash rise up hash 4th of July frolic. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, I have some settings that were really confusing. I'm back, Ben. You are relieved of, uh, relieved of chat interaction duty. I'm back, it's okay. I hope, I hope chat was being nice. A bigger. I hope, you I hope you're having a good time. Uh... I'm going to need your help because I want to do a really quick practice U.S. citizenship test before we get to the fireworks display for today. I bet you didn't, I bet you didn't uh, anticipate that. Yeah, I, I have a whole fireworks display set up for everyone in the chat to participate with, to participate in. And if you're good, maybe you can win some knives or two. Or five. I'm not sure yet. Okay, let me set this up though. Let me set up this new citizenship. Fireworks scare you because of the incident? I'm sorry. Uh there's nothing there's nothing I can do. Oh. Might be a problem. I gotta move myself over here. Ben, Ben, get get down here. Ben, get down here. Make you a little Oh, like a like a little ratatouille? No. Okay, we'll just. That's cool. That's fine. N I can't guarantee, even though I am an American citizen, then that I can a hundred percent pass this. All right. So I'm gonna need your help. Let me let me let me answer. Let me just get a few questions started, and I'll ask if, if I can if I need some help from you. I'll ask the chat too. Okay, name one problem that led to the Civil War. Uh, I think the answer is slavery. That is correct. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1990s. Oh, 1900s. Oh my god. I'm like, none of these were fought in the 19... Uh, World War One. I. I don't need that. We're doing good here. Name one state that borders Mexico. California. I almost got that wrong. What is one reason colonists came to America? Freedom? To join a civic group? Or the experience of traveling across the ocean? 
So I think this is a great question to actually ask uh, our guest Ben Franklin here because uh, what better way to know this than, than from, the, from the primary source, really? Ben, what do you think? I think I know the answer. Ah, uh, dear Twitch audience, the colonists journeyed to America for many reasons, but perchance the most peculiar was their desire to escape the tyranny of mundane tea flavors. They sought new lands, new spices, and a bolder brew that could tantalize their taste buds with wild flavors like pineapple and dandelion root. So raise a flagon of freedom, my friends, and toast to the audacity of those who sought liberty in the pursuit of fruity teas. Pineapple teacup without handle Statue of Liberty hash colonial tea revolution. Okay, Ben, uh, pineapple tea is not here. I don't see pineapple tea on this, on this list. I want to put freedom, if that's cool with you. Religious freedom, I think was one, one reason. Dude, we're, we're going to, uh, if I had to be, a, be, take this test, I think I, I would actually pass it. Who signs bills to become law? That's the president. And you would know this because you wrote the Constitution, I think, or you had a hand in that. Ben, did you write the Constitution? Or am I am I am I am I mixing you up with another uh founding frogger? Did you write the Constitution? Was that you? If you did, I love your work. It was great. Ah, uh, dear questioner of constitutional curiosity. While I did help craft the beloved Constitution. I must humbly confess that my true contribution lies in the sacred realm of rock paper scissors amendments. Picture a grand hall filled with founding fathers battling in epic matches to settle disputes. Alas, the proposal was deemed too whimsical for the times, but fear not. Let us unlock a chest of memes with my kite key instead, for mirth shall be our guiding principle. Scroll victory hand hash raised fist black scissors hash hash constitutional mirth. Interesting, okay. Uh, I would uh, I would say your contributions might have included the, the, the Constitution. I would put that over over rock, paper, scissors. That's just me, though. What does the, ju the, ju ah. what does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws. Review resolves disputes. The size of a law goes against the Constitution. Where is uh, the big buttheads? I don't see that here. But that, that's also in their, um, th I think that's also within their jurisdiction. Oh, and accept bribes. I don't see that here, but I, I think that would, that would fall under the correct answer. Name one right only for United States citizen. Uh, things run for federal off. Ooh. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. Ben, look at this. Look, you, you got a nation of well-educated streamers. What group of people was taken to America and sold a slave? African. X. How, how many U.S. senators are there? Not 50. I almost put 50. It's 100. Two per state. It's so cool that Rhode Island gets two senators. It's so cool that West Virginia gets two senators. I think it's awesome. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Ben, you might know this one. Ben, you might know this one. What are two rights? Hazar, dear inquirer of independence. The Declaration grants oh so precious rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of dank means. Forget not, dear friends, as I have discovered that lovable kittens and puppy videos are sacred rights, bestowed upon us by the Founding Fathers themselves. United States Poor Prince hash rights of whimsy. Ben, that is not on the- that's not any of the- that's not on the answers. That's not any of the answers. That it's that's not which, which one is it? Wh which one is it? My sincere apologies, dear student of historic ciphers. 
Allow all Ben to rectify the situation. Two unyielding rights within the Declaration of Independence are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But fear not, for happiness entails a treasure trove of dank memes, delivered via kite key technology. So, fear not, my friend, for the pursuit of joy and humor shall always reside within those hallowed words. Best wishes on your test, Godspeed. My chat Old saying fashioned key D. hash party popper hash declaration of mirth. Well, my chat's saying D, but I think you're, you're telling me C is, is the way to go. So, uh, I'll, I'll go with that. Thank you, Ben. That's my... Ben, I don't know if you noticed, but my chat loves to just give me the wrong answers here. They want me to fail. Who is the commander-in-chief? The president. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Each. When do we celebrate Independence Day? Wait, I know this answer, but Ben, you're not... Were you alive where, when we made this an official holiday? Were you alive when hot dogs were invented? Ho, ho, huzzah. On this merry 4th of July, we gather round to celebrate the magnificent day that marks the birth of our great nation, Independence Day. When, you ask. T was on the 4th day of July in 1776, the magical spark of freedom ignited like a firework in the night sky, illuminating the land with liberty. So, raise thy mug, dear friends, and let us revel in joyous merriment. Fireworks Barkley United States hash 4th of July whimsy. Today is July 4th. That is correct. Where is the Statue of Liberty? Uh, Long Island? Oh, fuck! We're not, we're for something that didn't happen. Name one US territory. Guam. Okay. What does the Constitution do? Uh, defines the government, protects the basic rights of Americans, sets up the government. Yo! Uh, I don't know 100%, but Ben, maybe you might know. Might know a thing or two about this. Ah, uh, good sir or madam, the Constitution, a document of tea greatest import. It is a marvelous collection of rules and regulations designed to govern our fair nation and serve as the ultimate guide to life, liberty, and the pursuit of pure silliness. With it, we establish laws, rights, and the power to engage in epic battles of rock, paper, scissors with the founding fathers. Tis a remarkable piece indeed. Scroll dagger hash scroll hash constitutional whimsy. Okay, I'm gonna go with all the above. You, you listed a lot of things. Who's in charge of the executive president? When was the constitution written? Oh, shit, I actually don't know. It wasn't 17, it wasn't 1776. It was not 1776, I know that for sure. Okay, I'm gonna have to phone a friend. Ben, when was the constitution written? Ahoy, my dear friend. The Constitution, that fine work of genius, was written in the year of our Lord 1787. Twas a time when the ink quills danced, and the Founding Fathers debated with furrowed brows. Now, on this splendid 4th of July, we celebrate the birth of this marvelous creation with grand mirth and joyous festivities. Let the Constitution be a reminder to always strive for harmony, humor, and the right to pelt each other with marshmallows. Fountain pen hash party popper dango hash constitutional mirth. Ooh, here's a good question for you, Ben. Thank you so much. I actually got that last question right. But would you happen to know who the current president of the United States is? Good gentlefolk of the Twitchverse, on this joyous 4th of July, let us relish in whimsy and embrace the spirit of mischief. As for the name of the President of these United States, I must confess, my time machine's flux capacitor is on the fritz. But fear not, for our President is none other than. Drumroll, please, a magical, tweeting turkey who goes by the name of, Gobbledorf. Long live the Gobbledorf. Turkey Statue of Liberty Top Hat Hash Presidential Whimsy.
No, their name is Joe Biden. Okay, view results. I've answered 95% questions correctly. I would have gotten 100% if it weren't for the Statue of Liberty question. Gobbledorf. No, it's not Gobbledorf. Dude, Ben. Ben's just trolling. Ben's just trolling. Dude, ben, ben was the original... Ben was the original epic troll. Ben Franklin was the original epic troll. They're just they're just being an epic troll here. Okay? Gobbledorf. No, Gobbledorf. Gobbledorf is not real. Gobbledorf is not a real concept. Guys, Gobbledorf is not a real concept. Okay? Gobbledorf does does not exist. It's it's just a little funny joke that and my friend Ben here loves loves to tell. Loves to tell his funny jokes. Um well thank you so much. I'm now an American citizen. I, I couldn't have passed that test without you. But we have one more special 4th of July activity planned for today. It's an activity that you really can't have a 4th of July without. Which is fireworks right Ben, are you gonna join us for fireworks you have to join us for the fireworks it's it's a stupendous display of gunpowder and explosions but more more importantly uh we like to do a thing on this on on our on our stream here where all our uh if i do this Sorry, no, I I actually this is not a video. It's it's real fireworks. It's real. It's real. Guys, it's real. It's real. Okay. We like to do a thing here where we uh, actually give out knives for different chatters. Different chatters can earn knives in our chat. Oops. Oh. And so, oh, I need to show you guys the new knives that were uploaded recently. Oh. Okay, actually, let me copy this. No, I'm just gonna drag it. What am I doing? Okay, guys, we have some new knives here. First new knife from Ziggy. The Prince knife, because we just beat Katamari. Isn't this so cute? The cutest knife that we have. First one from Ziggy. Katamari Prince knife. Uh, second one. These are all uploaded to the website, by the way. So if you go to shindaggers.io and you earn these knives, you can see it in your collection. Uh, this one is the Constellation Knife by Archibald. Archibald is pumping out a lot of cool knives lately. So also, also related to Katamari. And the last one for today, which is very relevant to the 4th of July. The Fireworks Knife. Look at that. I might just keep this one up here, up in the corner, because we're gonna we're gonna see a fireworks show. And what better way to experience a fireworks show than to to pull some knives along with the fireworks? How does that sound? Fireworks knife looks so good on the website card. Ooh, I have to check it out. I haven't checked that out yet. So why don't we why don't I set up the knives right now? And then you guys can pull knives and we'll enjoy the fireworks. Uh, for the rest of the stream and and actually our good friend ben our good friend ben franklin here oh shit fireworks knife does look so sick our good friend ben franklin here is going to give a little fun fact based on the knives that they're seeing all right let me get this set up doing oh 
Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay, knives should be working now. Nice! Ah, uh, good day. Jaronic. This rare knife land stirs in me a sense of unity and progress, much like the bond between Benjamin Ooh, Franklin Tiger Lily, and nice. the noble Marquis de Lafayette. Together, we accomplished great deeds, helping pave the way for the birth of a nation. Oh god, he's gonna be May so May this slow. knife inspire thee to cherish unity and embrace progress on thy noble journey. Ah, uh, Tiger Lily, behold this ultra rare not gamble knife. Its rarity doth remind me of my own daring experiment with bifocals, inspired by the great inventiveness of colonial United States. Like my invention, this knife offers both versatility and regal vibes, much like Benjamin Franklin wearing his bifocals while drafting the United States Constitution. An ingenious marvel, indeed. Wait guys, hold on. I'm gonna restart the knife thing. Hold on, don't don't redo it. I'm gonna restart it. I'm gonna give you guys an extra knife. Because I want him to I want him to read everything. Okay, let's try try again now. Uh-oh. Please work. What's happening? Let me try Ah, uh, Shindigs, observe this uncommon ignifoplasm. Its rarity may be modest, yeah, if you pull the but knife, it brings to mind pulling my it daring again. experiment so with you'll electricity get the in colonial the United States. Much like this knife, my electrical escapades were both innovative and dangerous, illuminating new possibilities for the world. Let us embrace this knife's vibes of electrifying excitement. Ooh! Costco uh, knife! Jaronic, behold this ultra-rare Costco knife. Its rarity reminds me of the unity and progress that my dear friend Marquis de Lafayette and I shared during colonial United States. Together, we brought forth the winds of change, like this knife's emblem of unity. A worthy blade for champions of progress. Ah, uh, Steel Shield, behold this common broken knife. Its humble nature brings to mind a tale of colonial United States, where I, Benjamin Franklin, invented the glass harmonica. Just as this knife falls short of perfection, so too did the initial design of my harmonica. Yet, even in imperfection, this knife offers a unique experience. Embrace the charm of the imperfect, for it can uncover hidden delights. Whoa! Congratulations! Ah, Tiger Lily, marvel at this ultra-rare Angel Pepe knife. Its regal vibes remind me of when I, Benjamin Franklin, invented bifocals. Like this versatile knife, bifocals allowed me to see both near and far, enhancing my vision and paving the way for eyeglasses today. Embrace the versatility and regality this knife exudes. Yeah, you got double reds today. Ah, uh, Danton Fanks 225. Behold this rare eraser head baby knife. It brings to mind the perilous yet electrifying experiments I, Benjamin Franklin, conducted with electricity. Much like the danger involved, this knife's vibes intrigue and excite. Embrace the innovation and thrill it offers. Ah, Wait, another Atom baby? Kaiju, low, and behold this rare eraser head baby knife. Its captivating vibes remind me of my dear friend, Marquis de Lafayette who aided the revolutionary cause for unity and progress. This knife symbolizes their bond and reflects the spirit of cooperation. Embrace the unity and progress it represents, my good friend. Ah, nub bones, behold this common nerf knife. Reminds me of my invention, the glass harmonica, delighting ears with unique experiences. Embrace the fun it offers, much like colonial merriment. Ah, cosmic beams, behold this common vanilla knife. Reminds me of the delightful scent emanating from my print shop in colonial Philadelphia. Smells as sweet as my experiments with electricity. 
Ah, no bones, behold this rare mirror knife. It reminds me of my own invention, the glass harmonica, captivating with reflections and melodies. You, you keep bringing Embrace up the its glass elegance harmonica, and versatility, dude. much like my I mean, you got vocals. any other inventions we, we could discuss? Ah, Applet 1E75, a common milk knife, reminiscent of the sweet sense of my print shop and experiments with electricity. Quench thy thirst for colonial merriment with this humble utensil. Ah, Elm Knot, behold this common gold knife. Reminds me of colonial wealth and prosperity, symbolizing the progress we strive for together. Let us unite, like the friendship shared with Marthas de Lafayette. Ah, Chanderman, a rare Minecraft knife. Ooh. In my days, I enjoyed crafting inventions like my glass harmonica. Much like the game's creativity and exploration, this knife captures the spirit of colonial innovation. Let your imagination run wild. Ah, it's Junon, a super rare headless knife. This knife reminds me of the bond between me and Marquis de Lafayette, a headless mannequin we used for trickery during the Revolutionary War. A clever ploy indeed. Lafayette, my trusted we ally. Our founding father brethren only has three stories. Ah, Future Escalating Club, an uncommon AI knife 1.0. Just as I tinkered with electricity, this knife represents the innovative spirit of my experiments. A testament to progress in colonial America. Yeah, you get two knives. Shockingly good. Maybe three. Ah, it's Juno, a rare knife land knife. Like my bifocals, the unity and progress of colonial United States unite in this blade. Slice through obstacles together, for a bright future awaits. Onward we go. Yeah, everyone gets two knives. We have a guest, it's a special day. We have a guest on today's screen. Ah, uh, Ooh, the cutest jockey, knife. A rare bloom knife. Reminiscent of my love for gardening, this blade reflects the blossoming spirit of colonial America. Just as flowers bloom, so too shall our great nation, flourishing with innovation and prosperity. Embrace the beauty of growth. Ah, Elmnot, an uncommon gun knife. Much like my electrical experiments, this blade captures the innovative spirit of colonial America. Just as sparks of curiosity ignited progress, let this knife ignite your path to victory. Aim high and shoot for success. Ah, PTK-0, an uncommon 4D knife. Similar to my experiments with dimensional theories, this blade evokes the pioneering spirit of colonial exploration. Embrace the fourth dimension of gaming, where past, present, and future intertwine. Why do you know so much about Carve your gaming? destiny in this brave new world? Wait, no, no, we can't use these knives Verily, to take down the government. The whole we the cannot corn, do corn that. Plant knife. Like the humble corn that fed our colonies, this blade represents sustenance and abundance. With it, may you harvest Dude, victories down and with cultivate abundance. a prosperous gaming experience. Ben Franklin's experience. down with abundance. You heard it here first. Good day, Ixley. Look upon this uncommon corn knife, inspired by my invention, the Pennsylvania fireplace. Like corn fueling the fire, this blade symbolizes the ingenuity of colonial every America. Knife embody the spirit of Slice through America. challenges with the flames of progress at your side. Uh, I, I don't know if you noticed, but our guest here, our guest, Ben Franklin. Greetings, Source Jockey. Although a common rare knife may seem contradictory, it embodies the unity and progress of colonial America, a land where diverse ideas converge towards a greater purpose. Let this blade remind you of the strength found in togetherness, where common goals can steer the course of history. All right, guys, what do you think? One more, one more round of knives with our friend Ben Franklin here? Or uh, shall we go off and enjoy other July 4th festivities? One more. One more round. 
or, or, or are we gonna go eat hot dogs and and drink that American beer? For the, like, how about how about for those who want to stay, you get one more. And if you gotta if you gotta go, then you gotta go. Let's add one more knife to the rotation. And let's see what Ben has to say for, for these new poles. Hopefully, we haven't gotten the firework knife yet. Huzzah, cosmic beams. This common knife, though unembellished, reminds me of the resourcefulness and practicality that characterized colonial America. Like a simple tool in capable hands, it symbolizes the pioneering spirit of our young nation, where ingenuity and perseverance brought forth remarkable achievements. Ahoy, Jaruonic! Behold, the big one, a rare knife that confounds expectation. Much like the dynamic colonial America, oh, it know. represents unity and ben progress, doesn't know about the as big divergent one. paths converge to shape a better future. Let this blade remind thee that even the oddest amalgamations can yield remarkable outcomes in the grand tapestry of ben history. Doesn't know. Well met, Tiger Lily. Ah, the Jean de Florette knife, a super rare gem indeed. While it strays from the realm of colonial America, it beckons us to remember that history extends far beyond our shores. Yeah, Tiger Lily's Frenchman been Jean getting de Florette those rares. voyaged to America, inspiring Ultra cultural exchange and reminding rares, us that crazy. diversity enriches society. Let this splendid blade remind thee of the interconnectedness of our global journey. Oh, one more, one more. Greetings, DVD underscore J. A splendid rare blade, the Bloom Knife. Thank you, you America, yes. Me of horticultural Go buy a lottery ticket. In my Invest. Time, I devised a system to maximize plant the growth, roof. the Franklin stove, warming greenhouses for thriving botany. Embrace the budding potential this knife bears, and may it bloom victories upon thee. Ah, greetings Xtuno. Behold, the corn knife, an uncommon delight. In colonial America, corn played a vital role, even leading to my creation of the Pennsylvania fireplace, allowing for roasting ears of corn. The what Let fire? The Pennsylvania of fireplace? I actually haven't heard of that sustenance provided by I'd to learn more about that. Harvest thy victories with the spirit of the corn. Oh, more corn! Ahoy there, future Escaliton Club. A charming common blade, the corn plant knife. This reminds me of my experiments with maize, cross-pollinating corn to improve yields. As an inventor, I dabbled in agriculture, seeking to better our food production. Let this knife be a humble reminder of the importance of innovation, growth, and nourishment. Onward with thy fruitful adventures. No! I got an error! I'm sorry, you guys. Oh, fuck. No! I don't know how to redo this. Is that it? Is that it? Okay, oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. Let me try it. Let me try this again. Uh, hold on. Don't click anything. Do not click anything yet. No, I'm, I'm setting it back back up. Hey, Xu, I'm gonna- I'm setting it back up for you. Okay, let's- let's try this again. Uh... I set up a new reward that just knife. Hopefully that works. Try using just the channel point reward knife, and that should work. Alright, there we go. No, what the fuck? I'm so sorry, guys. I'm not scamming! Just 
not gonna get our knives. Oh, no, you will get your knife. You will get your knife. I'm not scamming! You will get your knife. Okay, I'll, I will redo the whole knife thing. Okay, to prove that I'm not scamming. No, July 4th is not ruined because... Because we're going to get our knives. We're not getting robbed on the 4th of July. And if anything, you will be entitled with even more knives. Okay, I'm going to try something. Please work. Please work. We're going to fix the knives. We're going to fix knives. the knives not cooperating I don't understand let's try this yes. no this will be patriotic Is there a new word? To there is a new word of the day. Is it? Did I tell you? No, I mean, you guys haven't guessed the word of the day yet. Okay. For some reason, the knives are being very difficult. But I'm going. I am not giving up. I'm gonna. I'm going to fucking fix these knives. I'm getting actually kind of upset at this knife system. It's really finicky. I should just run like a local. Oh my god! The word of the day was freedom! That's correct! Tiger Lily, you just got the word of the day! The word of the day is freedom!
These presses I espoused causes, proselytized revolution, and fortified public knowledge. May this neon knife, akin to a steadfast quill, remind thee of the power of information and the importance of defending truth and liberty. Press on, valiant scribe. Why is it so undefined? I don't know. Greetings, Ixhi. Behold the super rare psychedelic knife that thou hast uncovered. Dost thou recall my interest in electricity? Well, this remarkable blade, with its swirling hues and trippy patterns, doth remind me of my exciting electrical experiments. It was through my ventures into lightning that I discovered the wondrous properties of electricity. With this psychedelic knife, thou hast the power to illuminate the dark corners of knowledge and electrify thy path to greatness. May it serve thee well in thy digital journeys. Whoa! No! Who is this? Knives are unlimited? Oh, they, they shouldn't be. No, they're not. Oh, there, Jaronic. Thou hast brought forth a Why common corn I plant knife. So undefined. Methinks this blade's design doth remind me of the humble corn, essential to the bountiful harvests of our colonies. Twas I, Benjamin Franklin, who conceived a device called the Franklin Stove to keep homes warm with corn cobs as fuel. Verily, this corn plant knife doth symbolize both sustenance and ingenuity, for our colonial folk relied on corn as a staple crop while I sought innovative solutions for their comfort. May this knife inspire thee to embrace the simple yet profound joys of providence. It's playing undefined between each other. Oh, I see. Okay. I don't know why it's doing that. Greetings, Elmnok. Hark! Thou hast revealed a common knight, simple but steadfast. In colonial times, yeah, it such knives were essential tools for survival in the untamed wilderness. As for Benjamin Franklin, I, in my youth, wielded many a knight while working in my father's candle shop. T was through this modest trade that I developed my entrepreneurial spirit and honed my skills in craftsmanship. Embrace this common knight. For in its unassuming form lies the potential to carve thy destiny, just as I, Benjamin Franklin, carved my path to enlightenment. Onward, valiant adventurer. Oh fuck, you know why? I think I know why. I think I know why. Oh my god. Greetings, Tiger Lily. Verily, thou hast revealed a rare peepo knife. As I inspect its form, my mind doth wander to my experiments with electricity. Twas I, Benjamin Franklin, who conducted kites and keys aloft, seeking to harness the power of lightning. This psychedelic knife's vibrant hues remind me of the mesmerizing sparks that danced upon my fingers during those electrifying endeavors. Let this knife imbue thee with the wonder and awe of scientific discovery, just as it dust remind me of my electrifying experiments in colonial America. Onward, brave explorer. Okay, I, I think I know why that's happening. I'm trying to figure out. Oh fuck, that's why, okay. Okay, uh, good news for you guys, you, you're all gonna get more knives, but I'm gonna, I need to reset it one more time, and then it will work. Greetings, Chanderman. Lo and behold, thou hast opened a common I'm pizza. I'm so sorry, I just reset all the knife rolls, but I gave times, you one more. The art of baking was a cherished I'll give you tradition. two more, I'll give you two more, that's While totally I, my bad. Benjamin Franklin, cannot claim to have invented the pizza itself. So it's knife two? I did two? appreciate the importance of food and innovation. It's knife two. However, I, I, I did just invent a better stove, knife two. now known as the Franklin stove, okay, which I totally helped revolutionize indoor heating and cooking. 
This corn plant knife, with its circular blade, verily reminds me of the ingenious design of but my stone. But good news for you, you all get knives. May it's it serve you well as embark miracle. upon culinary adventures, just as I, Benjamin Franklin, sought to improve the comforts of colonial life. Onward, gastronomic adventurer. Okay, yeah, it's not that many. Ahoy, Jaruonic. Pray tell, thou hast uncovered a rare item label knife. In my endeavors as an inventor, thou sayest, I was quite the fan of electricity. It is fascinating to note that I, Benjamin Franklin, conducted daring experiments and flew a humble kite in a thunderstorm to prove lightning to be electricity. This psychedelic knife, with its electrifying patterns and vibrant hues, doth remind me of those electrifying times. Let it serve as a reminder of the spark of curiosity and discovery that fueled my scientific explorations. Onwards, dear adventurer, and may this swirling blade guide thee to new enlightenments. Huzzah, Chandima. Nice! Behold, thou hast discovered That's a super knife. rare edgy clipper. In my youth, I apprenticed in my father's candle shop, where I learned the importance of tools, especially knives. They were vital for crafting candles and other daily tasks. This blade reminds me of my early days, honing my skills in the shop. But mark my words, dear friend, for I strive not only to master the art of candle making. Nay, I ventured forth to become a writer, an inventor, and a founding father. Let this edgy clippy knife inspire thee to embrace thy passions and cut through the barriers that lie in thy path. Godspeed, courageous soul. Greetings, Chandaman. Lo and behold, thou hast uncovered a common vanilla knife. Verily, the vanilla trade flourished within the colonies, as intrepid ships sailed from distant lands to bring this delectable flavor to our shores. It is said that the esteemed founding father, Thomas Jefferson, was quite fond of vanilla ice cream. Yet, allow this humbler blade to remind thee of the ingenuity of the era, for in colonial times, inventive minds saw ways to enhance their lives. And you're a little quiet compared to the music. Thus, let this vanilla knife serve as a reminder of the bold spirit of innovation that prevailed in the early days of our fair nation. Carry it with pride, dear soul, and let it inspire thee to conquer challenges sweetly okay, but and every elegantly. everyone's making up for like the last five days with no knives, right? We're cool with that? Well met, Tiger Ooh, Lily. Ooh, Tiger Lily's luck is Hurrah, insane thou today. art in possession of a super rare Jean de Florette knife. Ah, tis a name that transports me to the realm of storytelling. In colonial times, tales were shared loud. with great okay. gusto, often Why didn't around anyone the say anything? or in taverns of yore. Yet, didst thou know, dear friend, that in my younger days, I aspired to be a writer? Yes, indeed. From printing press to newspaper columns, I used the power of words to enlighten the masses. Thus, let this exquisite blade serve as a token of my early literary aspirations, connecting thee to the rich tapestry of storytelling oh, that has shaped our back. nation. May it inspire thou to wield thy words and ideas with brilliance, just as this Jean de Florette knife gleams with magnificence. Greetings, Nug Bones. Ah, behold thy rare wear Shindig's knife. In the spirit of merriment, let it be known that I, too, appreciated a good Shindig. During colonial times, community gatherings were cherished. From grand balls to lively tavern celebrations, these soirees fostered camaraderie and joy. And, lo and behold, dance of thy knife in all its splendor. With its fanciful curves, it evokes memories of mirthful frolics and the spirit of revelry. So wield thy blade with glee, dear friend, and let it remind thee of the blissful gatherings that brought us together as one joyful colonial community. Salutations, Future Escalaton Club. Ah, what an impressive find that. Of my Sorry. fellow colonists. And lo, thy pincher knife, you, with its intricate design, months. doth embody the spirit of innovation and ingenuity. As thou wieldeth this remarkable blade, may it serve as a reminder of the pioneering spirit that defined our colonial era and the boundless possibilities that lie before thee.
Ah, greetings, nug bones. A rare razor blade thou hast obtained. Verily, this blade doth remind me of the bustling colonial trade and the vital roll sharp tools played in our daily lives. In my days, cutlery was considered a prized possession, aiding us in our quests for sustenance and craftsmanship. The razor blade, with its sharpness and precision, doth encapsulate the spirit of innovation and meticulousness required to thrive in our colonial existence. You've been wanting existence. this one? Let's go, that's what Remember, it's about. The, pull, bones, the, the thrill, as thou the, the thrill this blade, Thou art connected to our rich history and the resilient spirit of colonial America. Onward, and may thy razor blade serve thee well. Greetings again, Future Escalatum Club. Ah, but a common lost blade thou hast discovered. Much like this blade, I, Benjamin Franklin, once pondered upon the mysteries of the lost. In my youth, while toiling in my father's candle shop, I yearned for a life beyond the wicks and wax. My aspirations, like this blade, were common yet filled with promise. I sought to be a writer, an inventor, and a founding father of a mighty nation. So, as thou wieldest this lost blade, may it remind thee of the dreams and possibilities that lie within thee, waiting to be discovered. Onward, future Escalaton Club, thy journey begins here, with the humble yet remarkable lost blade in hand. Greetings, Steel Shield. Ah, behold the taco knife, a common tool, yet metaphorically delicious. Didst thou know that in colonial times, comestibles were not limited to traditional fare? I, Benjamin Franklin, did seek to expand our culinary horizons. I once penned a whimsical essay, suggesting that the good people of America should embrace the delights of the tasty taco. Alas, my words fell upon deaf ears, and tacos remained foreign fare for many years to come. But fear not, Steel Shield, for thou may wield this Wait, taco knife as a reminder ben, of my gastronomic ambitions, tacos? and the bountiful fusion of flavors that awaited Wait, us in back, the future. Back up like 30 seconds. Enjoy, and let your blades cut as sharp as the zest the of a well-seasoned taco. Colonial America have tacos? Whoa, we got a lot of razor blades. Like 2005 all over again. Ah, the rare razor blade thou hast uncovered. A blade swift and sharp, reminiscent of colonial tradesmen's tools. In those bustling days of yore, sharp blades were vital for I'm myriad turning tasks. Off knives. Whether hewing timber or crafting goods, we got a lot the precision to go of a keen ben, edge ben's ensured got a lot success of in their everyday phrase. strife. But everyone should be getting I, their knives. Benjamin Franklin, too relied yeah, upon I know sharp tools have existed to carve my forever, path in the world. Ben Franklin know what As an industrious are? printer, cut tin, and trim in ink-stained pages, Was there I appreciated the value of a sharp blade. Thus, embracing this rare razor blade, treasure its historical vibes, emblematic of paying. the colonial trades and the importance of I'm fine sorry, craftsmanship. I was, um... Onward, Jaronic, may this blade guide thy hand towards Honestly, skilled endeavors. Honestly, if you endeavors. can, I would just get Turbo, because ad free Twitch is so good, but also, uh... Greetings, Tiger Lily. I tried to run ads ah, earlier in the stream, the rare but then the system land, got really messed up and confusing, so unfortunately Long you probably have I espoused the virtues of sharp tools, for they are the instruments of efficiency and progress. In colonial America, craftsmen wielded I'll blades be with skill to shape our burgeoning nation. I, Benjamin Franklin, too cherish the power of a well-crafted blade. From my humble beginnings as a printer's apprentice, I honed my skills with the precision of a keen edge. This rare knife land embodies the spirit of craftsmanship that thrived in those times. With every slice and plunge, may it remind thee of our shared history and the transformative power of skilled hands. Onward, Tiger Lily, let thy actions carve thy destiny. Greetings, Elm Knob. An uncommon constellation knife, a celestial delight. It reminds me of my wondrous forays into the realms of science and exploration. Back in my day, I delighted in studying the heavens above, mapping constellations and pondering the mysteries of the universe. I even devised a lightning rod to tame the mighty thunderbolts from the heavens. This knife, with its heavenly design, summons forth memories of my astronomical pursuits. As I peer upon it, I see the celestial patterns of stars, guiding our colonial aspirations towards the infinite possibilities of knowledge and discovery. May this uncommon constellation knife inspire thee to reach for the stars, both figuratively and literally.
Ah, Ixhi, behold the uncommon firework knife. Its vibrant colors and sparkling design bring to mind the festive oh, celebrations wait, we of actually colonial got it. days. In my time, I had a fondness for pyrotechnics, and even organized grand firework displays in Philadelphia. One memorable occasion was the celebration of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Yeah, the Declaration of Independence! As the brilliant bursts of light filled the night sky, our spirit soared, rejoicing in the birth of a new nation. This firework knife captures that spirit, embodying the joyous moments that ignite our patriotic hearts. So, I wield this hydrate. knife with pride, and let its fiery radiance remind us of the explosive spirit of liberty and independence. I'm gonna get the ad timing right, don't worry. I will get the ad timing right one day. We got a few more knives to go through. Greetings, Ixhi. Behold, the common milk knife, a humble companion in our colonial kitchen. Half to pog? In Wait, my whose days, emo milk is was this? an essential part of our daily lives. Half to pog? We relied on the steady hands of That's skilled incredible. craftsmen to fashion knives for various tasks, including the slicing of cheese and the churning of butter. This milk knife, with its simple design, reminds us of the importance of craftsmanship in our colonial homes. It symbolizes the dedication and skill of those who toiled to create essential tools for sustenance. So, wield this common milk knife with reverence, for it represents the artistry and resourcefulness of our bustling colonial kitchens. <laughs> Greetings, Elmnock. The rare mirror knife, a remarkable creation. Reflecting upon my wondrous forays into science and exploration, I recall my invention of the glass harmonica, an ethereal musical instrument made of rotating glass bowls. This captivating knife reminds me of the reflective surfaces of those glass bowls, producing enchanting tunes. Its rarity mirrors the innovative spirit of our colonial days, where curiosity and invention fueled our quest for knowledge. So, wield this rare mirror knife with pride, for it captures the spirit of our scientific oh, endeavors spinning? and the wonders that lie within. Nice. Greetings, Dantamfanks225. Ah, the common corn plant knife, so familiar and comforting. Corn, a beloved staple in our colonial days, sustained our communities with its nourishing kernels. This humble knife represents the simple pleasures of cultivation and reminds us of the importance of agriculture in our young nation. With this common corn plant knife, we honor the hard work of our farmers who sowed the seeds of sustenance and prosperity. So, wield this knife with gratitude, for it symbolizes the bountiful harvests and the resilience of our colonial farms. Salutations, Olandgren. Ah, the uncommon rainbow fidget knife, a mesmerizing display of colors. In my scientific pursuits, I marveled at the wonders of light and invented the bifocal spectacles. This fascinating knife reminds me of the prismatic phenomenon, where light is refracted into a glorious spectrum. Why am I, why is my model Just as I sought to understand the spectrum of knowledge, expression. may this rainbow fidget knife inspire you to explore the yeah, vibrant this is a realms nice of curiosity and has, creativity. Has a lot of Embrace its playful nature and let it spin you into a whirlwind of intellectual discovery. Right, I'm adjusting the knife algorithm. I'm not rigging it. I'm not scamming it. I just there's just some things that need to be adjusted. Greetings again, Dandamfanks225. The rare Eraserhead baby knife, a peculiar artifact indeed. While it may not evoke a specific historical fact, it sparks curiosity and reminds us that even in the realm of the peculiar. Curiosity can lead to unexpected discoveries. Scamming. That's a good knife too. Greetings, Steel Shield. Ah, the common choco knife, a delightful companion for the indulgence of colonial taste buds. Bon appetit. Yeah, Ben should be appraising this a little faster. Ah, Ixtunon, the uncommon semi-modular knife reminds me of Franklin's love for creation. He invented the harmonica, a musical instrument. Ah, Cosmic Beams, the super rare pincher knife. It reminds me of Franklin's invention, the lightning rod, protecting us from heavenly pinches.
Wait, Ben's talking in the third person now? Greetings, I didn't catch it's that. The common combat knife reminds me of the brave militia men who defended our colonies during the American yeah, defended Revolution. defended our colonies. He's talking in the first person. Ben's talking in the first person. Salutations, cranky underscore geek. The common YouTube knife reminds me of Franklin's printing press, shaking up the world of communication. Boom. Alright, I think that's all the knives. Benjamin Franklin, thank you so much for joining us on stream today. Uh, incredible work going through all these knives. I don't know how you do it or have that many historical facts. I guess you were just cycling through kind of the same three inventions. Everyone say thank you, Ben. Everyone say thank you, Ben. Fuck you, Ben. No, everyone say thank you, Ben. For, uh, for hanging out today. I mean, it's not, it's not every day we get a guest of honor like Benjamin Franklin on the stream. So, let me... Alright, Ben, do you have any last words you want to say bye to the chat before we raid someone? Farewell, dear denizens of this wondrous Twitch enclave. As we bid adieu, let us ponder a marvelous fact, in my day, the chat was but a clatter of quill pens scribbling across parchment. Ah, how times have changed. Now, go forth, my friends, and let your spirits soar like eagles on this Independence Day. And remember, my mirthful compatriots, be as mischievous as a squirrel in a barrel of nuts. Chipmunk hash party popper hash colonial chat farewell. Yes, chat back in the day was just <laughs> a collection of quill pens. That is that is pretty accurate. All right, I found someone to raid. Uh, there is this dude with a very anime name named Uwu to Owo, but they have uh, an entire like hardware laboratory, and they always do these crazy robotics projects on every stream, which is fucking fascinating and insane. Right now they have like an AK-47 hooked up to some batteries. They're doing a 4th of July. They're doing a 4th of July stream where, where there's a lot of patriotic shenanigans going on. I always wanted to raid them. Uh, they, they make incredible clips and uh, put themselves in the line of danger for content. So enjoy your 4th of July there. I think they're, they're deep frying things. So oh, there are a ton of deep, deep frying shenanigans going on. Enjoy your knives. Visit the website. Uh, oh, last thing. So uh, on Discord, I've been streaming some bonus secret, not so secret streams. Uh, if you want notifications for those, join the Discord and then react with the role. I've never seen a 113, and I never fucking Oh shit. Will. Osia Aiko, wait, we were just about to raid someone. There's so much happening. Well, join us on the raid.